Hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. I literally just uploaded a bookstore vlog a couple of videos ago, and I wasn't intending on doing another one so soon, but I got a gift card for my birthday, so. <laughs> bookstore in Flint called Totem Books. It's a pretty cute little bookstore. I've only been a couple of times because it is kind of far away from me, but this time around I was definitely on a mission. I have this idea for a video where I reread my old childhood favorites, so I figured a used bookstore would be like the perfect place to look for those. Specifically, I was looking for an Animorphs book and a Goosebumps book. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the Animorphs book, but they did have several Goosebumps books, so I did grab one of those. I also found a fun little gem in the young adult section as well, but We'll get to that a little bit later. And then our next stop was Barnes & Noble. Again, I got a gift card for my birthday, so we had to immediately run back to the bookstore and buy more books. start off with our book haul. Here's the books that we got from the library. I got four different books. I think in my last video I only showed three of them because the other one was like on hold and I don't like to film at the little desk area. It makes me self-conscious. <laughs> this is the one that I put on hold. This is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmermer? 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 I'm so bad at pronouncing things. Fall in love, break the curse. Love it already. <laughs> Cursed by a powerful enchantress to repeat the autumn of his 18th year, Prince Wren, the hair, the hair, the heir <laughs> to Emberfall, thought he would be saved easily if a girl fell for him. But that was before he turned into a vicious beast hell bent on destruction. Ooh, this kind of sounds like a Beauty and the Beast. Oh, it literally says on the top, an intensely original retelling of Beauty and the Beast. So 
that's what this is. <laughs> There's a little bit more to the synopsis, but we'll just leave it there. Literally, my last video was a spicy Peter Pan retelling, like Battle of the Books. So I'm very much into the whole retelling thing and very excited to read that. Which, on the same kind of note, we also have Learn My Lesson by Katie Robert. I've talked about this series several times. These are basically like kind of Disney inspired, spicy, smutty books. And this one specifically is about Hades and Meg. Essentially kind of how the series works is each book is inspired by a different Disney movie, but they're all within the same world. So you kind of get glimpses of other characters from other books. And Hades and Meg specifically have popped up in all of the other books that I've read so far. So I am definitely interested in their story and kind of just like, even though I never like love the books, I'm kind of invested in the overall story at this point. So we're just gonna finish the series. <laughs> and then the other two books that I got are The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I've read a couple other Riley Sager books and I really like them. And this one specifically has been in the back of my mind to read for like the longest time, like literally since last year. <laughs> so hopefully we can finally get to it. And then last but not least from the library, I got Someone Else's Shoes by Jojo Moyes. And this one I basically got because it was offered as a book of the month book a couple of months ago and I almost got it, but I ended up getting something else or I might have even skipped that month. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Point being, it did sound decently interesting enough. If I remember correctly, it's basically about two women that go to the gym and they accidentally switch their gym bags and kind of have to like walk in each other's shoes essentially. And then on the same kind of note of book of the month, I am going to show you the book of the month book that I got for May. I'm not sponsored by book of the month. I just really love the subscription and I do actually have a referral code. Anyone that signs up to book of the month does get a referral code. And I do always leave that in the description box. Basically, uh, if you use my referral link, you get your first book for $5, which is insane. <laughs> and then I also, full transparency, do get a free like book credit. So we kind of like help each other out if you use the link. Anyway, let's go ahead and unbox the box because I'm pretty excited about my book this month. Uh, it's a little different and I'm honestly a little worried that it's going to be kind of depressing, but I'm excited for it. So basically I got The Collected Regrets of Clover by Mickey or Mikey Brammer. Basically this book is about a woman that is a death doula, dedicating her life to ushering people peacefully through their end of life process. Clover spends so much time with the dying that she has no life of her own, until the final wishes of a feisty old woman send Clover on a road trip across the country to uncover a forgotten love story and perhaps her own happy ending. So that was my book of the month book, but also I got myself an extra special little fun present. These are super simple little blue and white socks to kind of like match their blue and white theming. But at the top of the socks, it says, not now, I'm reading, which I just think are the cutest freaking things. These were a little expensive. They were like $10, which is kind of insane for some socks, but they were fun. My birthday was the last day of April. So I figured why not? <laughs> and on that note, let's go ahead and actually just talk about the books that I got from Barnes & Noble with my gift card. First book that I got is Big Swiss by Jen Began. Not only does this have a pretty interesting looking cover, uh, but the story itself actually sounds kind of cool as well. It says, Greta lives with her friend Sabine in an ancient Dutch farmhouse in Hudson, New York. The house is unrenovated, uninsulated, and full of bees. Greta spends her days transcribing therapy sessions for a sex coach who calls himself Ohm. She becomes infatuated with his newest client, a repressed married woman she affectionately refers to as Big Swiss. One day, Greta recognizes Big Swiss's voice in town and they quickly become enmeshed. While Big Swiss is unaware Greta has eavesdropped on her most intimate exchanges, Greta has never been more herself with anyone. Her attraction to Big Swiss overrides her guilt and she'll do anything to sustain the relationship. The next book that I got is again, another book that I've been wanting for a really long time and I'm excited to like finally have it. Uh, this is My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I pretty much want to read everything that Grady Hendrix has written. The concepts and the book covers are always like top notch. I literally got this book for the cover. I'm a big sucker for like an 80s, 90s vibe and that is basically this cover. And then the next book that I have, which I'm so freaking excited for, is a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Excuse me, is this not like so freaking pretty? I love it. <laughs> Typically I don't like covers with like real life people on them. Um, but in this case, I feel like it kind of fits because one of the key things that I talk about throughout the entire book is the freckles that are kind of like across her face. And so I feel like a close up shot of her face just like kind of makes sense. Also the pages for this book are kind of different. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like show them to you, but there we go. <laughs> They're kind of like unevenly cut. So it gives this kind of like rough texture, which I think is kind of fun. And then also instead of just being like a plain paperback, you have what the website called French, 
French something. If you're new to my channel, I did read this in the very beginning of like this channel's existence. And I ended up really, really resonating with specifically Henry from the book. And I really wanted to own my own copy of it. So now we finally do. But also both these two books were buy one, get one half off. So I got this one for like eight bucks. And then I did end up ordering two more books off of Barnes and Noble's website. Uh, one because it was a pre-order and then the other one because my store just didn't have it in stock and I really want it. The pre-order was Once More With Feeling by Alyssa Sussman, Sussman, something like that. This is the same author that wrote Funny You Should Ask and I read that last summer and it was just a fun little like cute summer read. So uh, when I found out she wrote another book with basically the same super cute cover, I was like, gotta have it. And then the other book that I just kind of like ordered because my store didn't have it is Murder Your Employer by Rupert Holmes. And it says, Volume 1, McMaster's Guide to Homicide. And like, how are you not intrigued by that title? But also the actual synopsis of it sounded interesting as well. So it says, who hasn't wondered for a split second what the world would be like if a person who is the object of your affliction ceased to exist? But then you've probably never heard of the McMaster Conservatory dedicated to the consummate execution of the homicidal arts. To gain admission, a student must have an ethical reason for erasing someone who deeply deserves a fate no worse nor better than death. The campus of this Poison Ivy League, its location unknown to even those who study there, is where you might find yourself the practice target of a classmate and where one's mandatory graduation thesis is getting away with the perfect murder of someone whose death will make the world a better place to live. Is that not like the most intriguing concept ever. The next few books that I have to show you is actually an entire series because not only did my friend send me a gift card, she also sent me the entire freaking Akatar series. I feel like I'm literally the only person on the planet that has not read this yet and I'm so excited to finally read it. And that being said, I think it'd be really fun to do like a full spoiler like vlog of reading the series. So that's kind of something I'm thinking about doing. Tomorrow I'm actually gonna finally be reading the Lynn Painter books that I've been talking about for like two months now. But I think right after that I'm gonna be digging into this and I'm I'm so excited. Anyway, we're almost done with this haul. I only have two more books left and they are the ones that I got from the used bookstore. And the first one I got is the Goosebumps book. More specifically, I got Ghost Camp, which I don't think is one that I actually read when I was a kid. So this will be kind of fun to read something new. But also, I do not remember these books being so skinny. <laughs> I got Hatchet as well for the same kind of video as this one. And this one is also so much skinnier than I remember. I could have swore that like each of these books was the size of both of these combined, which is actually kind of beneficial, I guess, because originally I thought for sure I was gonna be needing like a couple of days to read the books that I wanna read, but uh, these are gonna take me each like an hour. The very last book that I have for this video is actually one that I'm pretty excited I was able to find. So this is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. And I have seen this book recently everywhere. Basically this is a retelling of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland and again I am here for the retellings. I freaking love them. Especially this one like Alice in Wonderland was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid so I'm super super excited about this and also I'm excited that I got the hardcover version of this book for six dollars because literally I had this in my Amazon cart to buy like paperback for like 12 which actually I'm kind of curious what the hardcover looks like. Ooh, this is actually pretty cool. You've got like a crown on this side and then on the back, there's like the little jester hat or whatever that's called. <laughs> and then the spine just says heartless. How freaking pretty. And then on the back of the dust jacket, there is like other books that seem to be in the same series, which this is called the Lunar Chronicles. And I will definitely check out some more of these books. The only problem with me getting a hardcover for this one is that I'm gonna now need to get hardcovers for all the rest of them. But at the same time, it does have a really cool hardcover, so. I think it'll be worth it. Anyway, that is all that I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If any of these books tickled your fancy, I will have links to all of them down below. And yeah, I think that's everything that I have to say. I hope you have slash have had the most amazing of days and I will hopefully see you guys in my next one. Bye.